What we want to do in this lesson is take a quick look at uh, the basics of GUI programming because GUI programs operate a little bit differently than the programs that we've looked at up until now. The programs that we've looked at up until now have started up here at the top and they've had uh, a line of code and each line of code represent represented a single command. And the computer executed these lines of code starting at the top, working down to the bottom, doing them step by step in order. As I've said, GUI programs operate a little bit differently. What we have is up towards the top of the program, we create, that's sort of right here, we create a bunch of things that are called widgets. These are things like buttons, menus, text fields. These are things that the user can interact with using the mouse. So these are going to be displayed on our screen when we run the program, and they're just sort of going to sit there until the user clicks on them or enters some text in them somehow, usually using the mouse. With each of these things, there is an action procedure that is associated with it. And that procedure is run when the user interacts with the, the particular kind of widget. So when the widget is used, the action procedure is called. And it does whatever is contained inside that action procedure. The heart of a GUI program is down here at the bottom, where we have this loop, which is, uh, which is what we call the event loop. This is sort of the main part of the program. And this loop repeats endlessly, looking for changes in the widget. So this is our event loop right here. Loop and loop with this one line in it, exit when GUI.process event. And this GUI.process event command is what looks for the changes in, in these widgets for, that the user has, has uh, done by clicking on them and processes what has happened. So right now, our, our GUI program doesn't do anything. What we're going to do in this is we're going to create um, a couple of simple buttons that the user can click on, and then we'll create some procedures that'll go with them. Okay. The first thing we have to do is up here at the top, before we do anything, we have to import the GUI module into every GUI program. So I'm just going to do import GUI. The next thing I have here is view.set graphics uh, 500 by 400, so I'm just setting the size of my graphics screen. So if I run this right now, all it will do is basically nothing because I haven't done anything yet. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a couple of buttons. So let's see. First thing we're going to want here is we're going to want a quit button so that this program will actually exit when, uh, when we're done. Because, again, this event loop runs continuously. It'll run forever until, uh, until we give it some way of quitting. And the way we do that is we have a button that uh, will be our quit button. So we can just say var... QU. So this QU is the identifier or the name that this button is going to have. QU has to be an int. And we're going to, to create the button, we use a command called button. Okay. So this will create a button with the identifier QU okay, in that variable. So what do we do in GUI create button? Well, I'm going to put in 200, comma 50, which are the x and the y coordinates of the lower left-hand corner of our button. I'm going to put in 0, which is going to be the width. And all that means is if I put in 0, the button will take up as much width as we need it to to um, hold the text that we're going to put on it. The text that we're going to put on it is we're going to label it quit. And that's got to be a string. So it's going to put that string onto the, the button when we create it. And the next thing that we need here is the action procedure that is going to be called when this button is clicked. And our quit button is going to call a special action command called GUI.quit, which is the GUI command that is going to quit the program. So our program is still running here because it doesn't have anything to display. So I'll stop it and then I'll run it again. And now you can see we've got a quit button right there. And this program is still running. Even though it's not doing anything, that loop is repeating, and it's just waiting for me to click on something in here. So if I click quit, the program finishes. So that's the basic thing that you need in a GUI program. So let's do something a little bit more um, interesting. Let's create a button that actually does something here. So just above our quit button, I'm going to put another comment here saying that we're creating a new button. And we're going to make a button that, um, let's say, causes a circle to uh, flash on the screen. So 
So we'll call this button. So we need another identifier. So we'll say var fl. This is going to identify this button. It's got to be an integer. And again, we'll use gui.create button. And we'll put this button somewhere else on the screen. Um, we'll put it at an x coordinate of 50, a y coordinate of 200. So that's kind of off to the side. Again, we use a width of zero because we just want it to be wide enough to hold the word, we'll say flash here, because the button is going to, the circle is going to flash on and off here. And now we need the action procedure that this is going to call. So let's just call this action procedure flash as well. That's the name of our procedure. And our procedure doesn't have any parameters passed to it. So now what we need is we need the action procedure, and it has to be declared before we declared that button. So up here we will declare the action procedure called by flash. And without the action procedure, if I run this, it's going to crash. And it's going to look down here and say flash has not been declared. It, it's expecting there to be a procedure called flash, but it doesn't exist yet. So let's declare a procedure called flash. We can use the short form, proc. We'll call this flash. We'll put these two empty brackets here to show that there are no parameters. And then to end it, we need end flash. And whatever we want to have happen when we call this procedure goes in the middle here. So we could just have it do something like, um, we want this thing to flash. So we'll do 4i1.10. Okay, we'll create a for loop, and then inside this for loop, we will, oh, we will draw a circle, draw fill oval, and we'll put this at 200 to 200, make it radius 50, radius 50, and we'll make this red. And then we'll do a delay of, I don't know, 200 here, so a couple of seconds. And then we will draw over top of this thing in white to erase it. So let's try running this now and see what happens. So, so here we've got our two buttons. We've got our quit button, we've got our flash button. And when we click on the flash button, it'll make this red circle appear and disappear 10 times. And then it'll stop. So that's running that flash procedure, and then when it's done, it returns back to this main program here, and this loop keeps repeating. So I can click flash again, and it'll make it flash 10 more times, and then go back to the, to the processing loop. Okay. And then if I want to finish this, I click quit, and I'm done.